Guys, no cameras spot all access at the zone, okay? No cameras spot all access. On April 20th, a score will be settled. I'll drink a beer and beat the <laughs> I bet you won't. I bet I would. Devin Haney. He's delusional. I don't know what he's talking about. We'll take on Ryan Garcia. Well, how bad did I beat this out of you, though? If you, you never beat the out of me. Stop it, bro. You never beat I, I can't fight the way you fight, bro. You know, I can't. I, I need to get to it. Live on DAZN Worldwide. Oh, I, get with, I get up within a second, though. Every Today, they face off. Four years ago, you got into the ring when Ryan won his fight in Anaheim. And as the champion, you challenged him back then. Why do you think it's taken this long for you two to fight? Ryan was my mandatory a long time ago, and uh, we could have fought then. But, um, you know, the, the, the time is now. Our lives a perfect planner, so it happened at the right time. It's a much bigger fight now than it was four years ago, obviously. So, um, what can I say? Ryan, why has it taken so long to have you two guys meet in the ring? I told him I had a plan. I'm gonna do this, this, and that. And I stuck to the plan. I said, I'm gonna see you last. I didn't lie. I just stuck to what I felt in my spirit and what to do. You know, and that's what I did. And now we're here. When you guys squared off that night in Anaheim, there was a little bit of tension, but it was mostly friendly between you two in that moment. It clearly has changed in the buildup for this fight. For you, Ryan, what made it change? Just growing up and just, I don't know, I just matured and I just don't like him. That's it. I'm gonna go after him, I'm gonna go get him. Simple. Devin, for you, what's made the dynamic change? I said that he said some things. He said that he didn't say these things. I heard that he, that he said something about my religion. He says that he didn't say it, so I'm not gonna force that on him. If he said that he didn't say it, then he didn't say it. But that's what I heard. And that's what somebody who a reliable, somebody who's, who's a reliable source told me that. So it's like, that's something no, that you don't no, come back from. They could be lying though. They could be setting stuff up. But you, you know? could be lying too. I, I, okay, I would tell you the truth. I'd be like, you know what? I did say these things, but I didn't. I, I don't want to disrespect your religion at all. I mean, that's, that's something, look it. And, it, and, it, and I see you said about the Merry Christmas. That's not what I was talking about. Okay, I thought that's what you were talking about. But anyways, I, I just want to make it clear, bro. I don't have anything against your religion. Like, I'm not trying to, you know, mm. disrespect you in, in that way. You have said in some interviews in the buildup yeah. that you think he's fake. That you say he says one thing to your face and does something different behind your back. What I meant by that is, hey, like, I know he, like, we get friendly, but, like, I know what's underneath that. Like, we're ready to go get his ass, like, when they get that opportunity. So that's all I meant by that, you know? Um, Devin's Devin. I mean, he probably thinks he's not fake. You know, I mean, he probably thinks I'm fake. I'm acting. I'm doing this. So, what did you think when you heard that? That he thinks you're saying one thing to his face and something else behind his back. I don't know what he's talking about. So, of I don't, course, I don't, they wouldn't I don't admit know. that. I don't know what he's talking about. But of um, course, you don't want to admit your plan. Lower his guard, then we go get him. Nah, bro. It's he's not delusional. <laughs> he's delusional. I don't know what he's talking about. You probably don't notice you do it. Do what? What do I do? What do I say to your face and then act behind it your back? It's just like, you know, shit. I don't even give a fuck about it. It doesn't even matter. There was a long time that it seemed like you guys were on friendly terms, even though you were around the same weight class. Nah, it's cordial. We're rivals at the end of the day. Like, yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we've been rivals since we was nine, years nine old, ten yeah. years old. We went to Circus Circus when we were little kids. We've been cool to a certain extent. We've been cordial. But now we're in a fight. This ain't, like, it can't be, it's like, you gotta hit a switch. There's no... And it's it, it does feel like a little bit more than just a fight. I mean, for example, when we saw you guys at the Super Bowl, uh, a choreographed face-off between no, the two of you. No, it wasn't. No, not choreographed. No, it wasn't. Well, I mean, a setup. It was set up. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't set up. We. I was. Go, the he was going there to do media. Was, I was going there to do face media. Off. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But after that, I just I just seen him. And he was like talking. I didn't know what the he was talking about. I was like. Ryan, knock it off. You, you're acting like you're, nigga, you're acting. And he was like, I just turned around. I was like, all right, let's do it right now. But well, let's talk about the fight then. Immediately after Devin beat Regis Progray to win that title, you went on social media and said you're ready for that fight. What was it about that moment that made you decide this was the fight you wanted? I just, like I said, I seen him picking up steam. Like he was, he was, you know, making noise. And I felt like he got to the point where, like, it's time to run it, you know? I feel like he's coming into his own. I am myself. And I felt like it was the perfect time, you know? Um, a lot of people like to say he's not a draw. 
I I think otherwise, I I vouch for him and I said nah he 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 got it picking up. I gotta be a draw. I think this is the biggest fight in boxing right now. So I, 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 I'll go on I the record that it's gonna break the Durante fight. Like it's live gate. No 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 the pay per view buys. What do you think it'll do? One point five. I might mess around and get two. I'm not even kidding. We might mess around and get to. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, you're right. Devin, when you saw, you, like you said, you've been looking for this fight for a while. When you saw him go on social media calling you out, what did you think? Nah, I mean, we seen him go on social media and call out a bunch of people, so I didn't think it was real. I'm like, this here go Ryan calling me out because I just fought and da da da. He just watched it. He do. He, we seen him do it so many times, and then the fight not happened. So it was, I didn't take it serious. When did you? Start to take it serious. I want to say his team reached out, and then I was like, we started, we got into talks, up negotiations or whatever, and then he went on a jog with Floyd, and then it fell apart. <laughs> That's kind of funny. No, it's the truth. I know, it is the truth, but it just came <laughs> off funny. You guys fought within, what, a week of each other back in December. Uh, Devin, what did you think of Ryan's performance against Oscar Duarte? Honestly, I didn't get a chance to watch it fully. I watched, like, Bits and pieces, but to be real with you, not like I'm, trying, I'm not even trying to shame right now. But I fell asleep. I was, I was oh like, I was no, God. no, no, no. I was, I was in training camp, so I was tired. I had a hard workout that day, and I fell asleep. So I did not watch the fight fully, but I seen that he knocked him out, and he did what he was supposed to do. Ryan, when you his shoulder roll was not the best. It was not the best. But did <laughs> but I get hit did. though? I didn't even get hit. You didn't get hit? No. Oh, I did actually get three times in the shoulder roll. You're right. With an uppercut, a hook. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't that bad though. When you saw his win over Regis Progray, what did you think? I told you, like, oh, damn, he, he, he got it going on now. All right, cool. Like, he dropped him with the right hand. That was, that was nice. Um, he outboxed the shit out of him. Like, it was just easy work. But I already knew that was going to happen. Regis is too slow. Like, he's not, he started boxing late. Like, he don't have it like that. I already knew Devin was going to beat him easy. When you think about your fight with Devin, how challenging a fight is this going to be for you? We'll just have to see in the ring. Like, I can't really say it's going to be hard or easy. Sometimes I think fights are going to be hard and then it's over in like a second. Sometimes I'll, I'll, it's going to be easy work and it's actually harder than I thought. So we just won't know till we're in there. Devin, when you think of matching up with Ryan, how challenging do you think this fight's going to be? I don't think that Ryan has got much better since the amateurs. Ryan fights the same way, does the same things. I mean, obviously he's got bigger and stronger, but it's the same thing. I would imagine, Ron, you think you have developed yeah. some new things. What do you think is different about you since I mean, those days? I know the steps I've taken. I think I he's a one-trick pony. Oh my gosh, bro. It's annoying because he's just using that tank shit, Like, How am I using? It's the truth. No, it's not, bro. How, how, have I knocked people out with a right hand before? But once they have took I away Have I knocked your... out somebody with a right hand before? Who? I don't know, but have I? Who? Have I? Who? Have I knocked out somebody with Tell a right hand? Tell me who. Have I knocked somebody out with a right hand? Tell me who. I just said, have I not? No, I'm talking about on the elite level. Oh, because okay, that's what you're saying? Well, not yet. You'll be the first one? No, I won't. <laughs> no, I won't. Bro, it would be funny if I knock you out with a right hand. How hilarious that would be. But he only it, has a left hook. It would be funnier if I knock you out with a left hook. That would be What if I knock comedy. you out with a left hook? That would be comedy. I'm not going to lie. Hilarious, I might, right? I might make a, a reel about it. I mean? That was funny. I yeah. mean? I might meet myself if that happens. Stamp it. But what happens when I it knock you happen. out with a right it hand? It won't happen. Okay, so right. you don't even want to take that possibility. You know it won't happen. You're being delusional. You know there's a chance that could happen, right? No. Are you gonna lie? No. Oh, okay. Now you're lying. No. Oh my <laughs> gosh, dude. I'm telling you the truth. Like that's a possibility. It's not gonna happen. Okay. Your uh, father was very impressed with your performance, as everybody was against Reach Brook, especially your power. You knock Regis down in the third round of that fight. Showed maybe a different level of strength fighting at 140 pounds. He also believes that you can knock Ryan out in the first round of this fight. Do you think that's yeah, on the table? I mean, I think that, you know, Ryan gets overly aggressive, and we've seen him make mistakes when he gets overly aggressive. He, he, he since the amateurs, he would try to just go in there and he would just try to just jump on you, like, no real strategy, just try to just get you out of there, try to get the fight over as fast as possible. And we've seen Ryan get caught in those times. And um, if he comes out like that, he will run into something. Well, the question I would have for you then is, are you in the right place in your career for this fight to happen? 100%, this is the best I've felt. You know, I feel like I'm coming into like myself, you know, and um, I think I'm at the top of my game right now, mentally, spiritually, everything. And um, 
yeah, I think this is my time, this is my moment. You know, he has the crown right now, WBC crown, and I'm ready to go get it. You haven't made chasing titles a priority much in the first part of your career. Is it a priority now? Yeah, I mean, a bit of it, but it's not like really titles. It's just the person in front of me that I, I would like to fight. And if they so happen to have a title, great. And I, I'm proud to fight for the WBC. I think that's the best bout, you know, um, stylistic-wise. It's fly, so I want that. Devin, you've referenced the amateur fights a few times, uh, six fights between you two guys and the amateurs. And you told me earlier that the losses you had, but well, you admitted you lost some of those fights. They happened when you were younger, smaller, less experienced. When you got bigger, stronger, better, you won those fights. I think you even said you gave Ryan a standing eight count at one point. Yes. What, what do you remember? The last fight. You did not give me a standing eight count. I didn't. Bro. No, that's why you cut the video at the end. You know you didn't. I swear to God, if I had the Can you find video, the video? No, I, I've been looking for it. I swear to God. Dude, I'll tell you. I'll show you. Bro, you did. I, I and I remember that fight too. I I even got a point taken. You I, did. I don't know how you won that. Bro, it's three. I beat the f out you. Yo, what do you, you mean? Not, bro. I gave you an eight count. You did not give me an eight count. You don't remember that fight in, in uh, me, Reno? You, no, you beat me though. I'll give you that. You just said you don't know how I won that fight. No, you beat me as in like, okay. I got so a there point, wasn't a point taken away? I got a point taken. You beat me. No, I got a point taken away. And I give him an eight count. You see what I'm saying? You did not like give eight, me an eight out. count, bro. So how do I get a point you taken away and I won? Because you won. You beat me all three rounds. Duh. You can still win. Think you about just, it. No, but I got a point taken away. But you, could, if you won all three of the rounds, even if you get a point taken away, I got away, a point taken win. away and I gave you an eight count. No, you did not give me eight count. That's cap. He gave me an eight count when we were little. When we were little. Yeah, kids. yeah. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, Oxnard. Yeah, yeah, yeah Oxnard. But he wasn't. He wasn't like he just was getting started. I feel. So like. do you remember those fights well? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Like, you weren't good in the beginning, remember? Like, nobody, like, every, nobody took you serious. <laughs> They're like, yo, Devin's easy work. And we win, and then I wasn't even worried about it. And him. then I started beating the I started beating everybody. Beating no, you. No, beating the out of you. No, you started off with somebody else, and you beat that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Do you feel like you dominated those? No, he had more experience than me in the beginning. Like, I, I, I didn't get on the amateur scene. Like, that was just, you know, training in the gym. Like, you know, I, you know how, like, a kid would be training in the gym, but, like, don't have the, like, the amateur pedigree, like he's not like going to the tournaments. He was at, he was going to the tournaments, so he had more experience than me. Once I got that experience, I was getting older, I was growing, growing up. I started beating the out of him. But do you and remember, it's sparring. Do you remember? And it's sparring. Do you remember West Virginia Junior Olympic Nationals? How bad I beat the shit out of you? It was a split decision. Well, how bad did I beat the shit out of you though? If you it never was a, beat the shit out of me. Stop it, bro. You never beat the I shit out of me. Really no, you won that, that fight. fight though. You won that fight for sure. You did. I give you that. I felt like I dominated. He went in there. He went in there. And he jumped on me. I wasn't right ready. off he, the rip. He, 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 he surprised me that fight. I'm not gonna lie. I so did then go after, right that, after that, I've been woke. I remember that. Shit. I still remember that to this day. I said I'll never let him do that shit again. No, I, and then I tried to do it again. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I was pissed. I was like, damn. That shit. Devin, I asked Ryan how challenging a fight this is for him. You faced some great fighters up until this point. Last year, you beat Vasily Lomachenko. You beat Regis Progre. How challenging is this man to you? We gotta see, um, you know, styles make fights. Um, I feel like I'm levels above him. I feel like, you know, he hasn't fought on, on that elite level. Well, when he did, he quit. At the end of the day, rather he wanna admit it or not, the world watched him take a knee. The world watched him Colin Kaepernick. So at the end of the day, what, what, what has he really done on the elite level? I feel like I was I, handicapped, obviously. I don't want to get into that but again. But you quit, though. I was handicapped. But you did quit, though. So you have that in you. It's in starting. You did, we, we did see you quit. We'll see. I mean, we'll see in the ring. Uh, you know, I'm not going to quit. Like, Does that good. criticism bother you, though? But you didn't bit. quit that fight? I'm not no? a quitter, you know. Okay. Um, he hit me with a great body shot, and it hurt. You got up right after the count? I did. You, right after? What would you do in that situation when you're, like, you're, you're malnutrition and you're like dead. I don't know. I can't. I can't okay. say what so I would. I know. I know. I'm, I know. I would. I would never quit. I would never put myself in that position that you. But you signed up but for I that. But I did it. You signed up for that. Exactly. And I propelled and the you, sport. You I'm knew. cool with that. I'm cool. Okay. And we're here now, and it's it's fire. So I'll, I'm cool if that. If, I mean, I'll take an out for the sport, and I did. Do you feel like you can outbox this man? Yes, I can. I feel like I can. But this is a fight you've said repeatedly. 
you think you're going to score by I know, knockout? No, you don't even believe that. I do believe that. You do. I do believe it. I feel like if I wanted to, I could outbox you. Like, if I just move on my bike and beat you, I could beat you like that. Please. I just don't want to do it. Please. It's not fun to me. Please. I can't fight the way you fight, bro. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be bored. And, <laughs> you know, I can't. I, I need to get to it. Do you feel like you can? That's why he, he was trying to get to it with Tank. And his ass ended up on his knee. Bro, if I was 140, Tank would have got knocked out. And Tank knows that. You know how scared he looked in his eyes when I hit him in the second round? I swear, I never seen somebody more scared in my life. He was, he was, what did he do? He looked at me and said, he didn't, there was no, he was running, like he was terrified. And you know what he said? He goes, if I drop you like Luke Campbell, I'm gonna go after your ass. He dropped me and he didn't take a step forward. Why is that? Think about it. Do you feel like you can hurt him in a fight? Absolutely. I mean, it's boxing. We, I'm it's not invincible, eight, it's, you know. It's, it's eight on his gloves. <laughs> And um, like I said, if he violates on April the 20th, he's going to run into something, and I can't hurt him. I will hurt him. Yeah. It's a very, very low chance. You think you got a chin? Do you got a chin? You get a little wobble, too. We, seen you, we, seen, you, we seen you get no, knocked but, down. But I never did We this. seen you get knocked down. Yeah, I get you up, got knocked down. I get, you was with, I get up within, was like, a second, though. Every up. Up. I Boom. didn't go down. You was up. Up. You yeah. went down. Oh, that's. I think what you so happened to you was worse. No, we saw you. We saw. Bro, when you worse. got hit, you were like this. Did I go down? Legs. Did I go down? No, we but that's go worse. Down. We seen you go. Down. That's not a chin. Oh my. God. When I get dropped and come right back up, bro, that's a chin. Muhammad that's Ali chin. got dropped and then he wakes up and he had the best chin in the game. That makes no sense. I actually have so a chin. I don't have a chin. I don't know. I, I gotta see it. That's a, that's a good thing, man. I really don't. You don't know. know. That's a good thing. I don't know if you have a chin. That's or a good thing. Well, the good thing is April 20th, we're gonna find out. Gentlemen, thanks for being here.